Hey guys, how y'all doing today? This is Tyler Austin with MyGeekCentral.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a background for your desktop. Um, now there's, there's quite a few different backgrounds you can make. You can make a stretch background which is basically when you take a picture and you edit it so that it'll stretch across the whole desktop and basically you just go into your CSS document and as the background you'll put a hundred percent so that it takes that background and it stretches it a hundred percent of the window because obviously if someone has a bigger screen they have different screen resolutions that picture is not going to stretch to the whole you know um, distance of their um, whatever they have the red screen resolution set to so you put a hundred percent in there and it's going to stretch that picture to the exact fit of their page um, so, but that's not what we're going to show through this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do this right here. And basically, that's create a an image and put it in here. And it's it's going to look just like this. Let me go ahead and bring up another web page here. And I'll show you what our website looks like. I'm going to drag this over. It's basically going to do that right there. It's going to fade this uh, this background down in. Now, you don't have to have it as a fade if you don't want to. Um, you just want to play around with it. But I'm going to show you how to create this, um, how to make it, small, you know, change the pixels so that it, it's not as, uh, doesn't take as much to load the screen. And, and then after that, I'll make another tutorial on how to actually input it in there, which I'm sure you could... Uh, figure that out by what I've already showed you on what we're going to do um, in the text here but we're going to make a video just in case so basically what you're going to want to do here is is you want you're going to want to bring up Photoshop file new okay and if we go into our text here you can see we got a background for our main body which is the background that you can see here and you can notice that I don't have a background um, it may not may look like I don't have a background to you know uh, my whole container content um, and my other contents and maybe even my um, navigation bar, but I actually do. Um, it's just it's all about blending, um, choosing the right colors to try and make it match. If that's what you want, if you look at my Geek Central, you can see that I've got a fade going from the top to the or from yeah from the bottom to the top um, but I got a solid background um, and that's all you know based off of how you want the, the design of your website so um, for this one I wanted it more of a um, I don't know everything the same so you can either not put a background in there or you, you could um, add the same background as we're going to create for the body so anyway um, we're going to make a width of about a 50, 50 um, which we're going to change, but in order to be able to see our fade and all the good stuff, we're going to go ahead and put a width of about 50. Our height for this is, I don't know, let's just make it 500. And I'll show you. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to make a page, especially if your content um, is going to be changing all the time. Um, and we have, you know, as we you've seen before, and if you've watched some of my other tutorials, you've seen that, for example, in our main content, um, we have an. Let me try and find it here. Let me make this big. An overflow of auto, which means that as much content as we put in there is automatically going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, which allows for our screen to be able to scroll down. Um, for example, if you go to you know, once again, go to My Geek Central and you go to the funny pics section or whatever. Um, you know, we got we can scroll down for a bit. You know, and if you have been to the website and you go to funny pics se section, I'm sorry that if you click next, it's the same exact photos. Um, I was just playing around creating this uh, next button and I just put the same page in there. I don't actually have more photos yet to put on there. So anyway, um, the bottom of the page you notice is a lot darker and it doesn't have any fade to it compared to the top and uh, that 500 pixels will only expand from the very top of the page down to that 500 pixel part so if you don't add in your text you don't add this extra um, repeat X or I'm sorry if you don't add the the background color in there then literally it's only gonna be 
you know, your background's only going to cut off about halfway down your page, you know. So you're going to want to blend it in to whatever color you want in your background. Um, just like on this page, I have um, red as the very bottom background. And basically, I'll show you how to do all that whenever I make this next tutorial. But for now, let's go ahead and make the, uh, the first body. So we click OK. And it's going to give us our... Uh, um, our image here, our background template. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to want to gradient this. Alright, this is for a fade now. If you want a solid color, you can put a solid color. But, you know, I, I don't think that personally is um, very appealing. I mean, I don't know. It, it's all up to you. And you can do it to where you like fade it from the left to the right. And there's, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. It's all about how you want the design of your website. So what you're going to want to do is to change the colors. Change the colors. You're going to want to click on that there. And you can choose the way the fades come in. Um, they got a bunch of different templates here. And basically all it does is it gives you different options. And they're preset. Yeah, as it says here, presets. Um, on, you know, how it's going to fade. Whether you want another fade inside the center there. You know, but if you do that, you got to keep in mind um, it would be best to do this on something other than your body content, because if you're unless you put like, well, necessarily, I guess you could do that. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit more difficult as far as your text, your um, coding goes, because you're going to want to add a solid color somewhere in there so that you don't just have one single, um, uh, you know, just like a certain set height of a background image um, so that I would think that the best thing you can do this for is maybe your content making your content background you know kind of appealing you know or you could do something like crazy like this and all that's doing is if you notice if we go here we've only got you know one here that we can change and one here and they're basically just presetting those um, choices for us and auto setting the colors but we're going to go with this very first one here and then all you do to change the colors is you want to click these here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to create how about hmm, about a white we'll make a white bottom okay and for our top uh, we got to click on this one there we go We'll go ahead and we'll create um how about like a dark green no I don't want to do a green hmm kind of look here I like blue so I kind of want to do a blue but I, I don't want to put another color blue on it you know what, let's do like this brown color. Okay. Alright, so now if we were to input the, this image into our website now, it would be dark on the top and then fade um, to white on the bottom. But I personally want to do light from the top and darker towards the bottom. So to change that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click OK. And then we're just going to choose down here reverse and that's going to reverse the image so that the fade is coming from the top to the bottom of the page and um, then we're going to click OK and this is a very simple background um, very quick you know easy way to make your website a little bit more uh, appealing so you want to you're going to want to go to canvas size and choose pixels choose the width to one pixel and what that's going to do is that's going to make it a lot smaller proceed and it's just gonna make it a lot easier f for the page to load you know you might have a fast running computer but someone else um, might not you know might have a little bit older of a computer or maybe not as good of components and whenever they load that page especially if you add backgrounds to every single one of your um, sections of your web page and maybe you have background images differently on each w on each page on the site um, and all of them are you know 50, 50 pixels wide and stuff that's really going to slow down especially if you have images on top of that you, you know you have background images and then you have uh, images like maybe you're doing a 
um, a review or something, you have an image of that video game or a uh, movie in there, and it's it's really going to slow down the the performance of your website. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save as. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to PNG, and we're going to go ahead and save this as main one since I already got a main on here since I already made the background but I'm gonna change this to this brown because I like it better than them Christmas colors so we're gonna go main one you know but I don't want to save over this because I want to have options you know because I got like a bunch of different headers here I can choose from too which I'm probably gonna switch my header to this one right here rather than this one even though I do like that one's text better okay anyway let's go ahead and save okay I'm also going to upload that other uh, icon. Alright, so that's how we make a background image. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to input that background image into your, your web page. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. and I'm going to update another one. I'm working off two screens now, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to go back and forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, make, and stop this tutorial. I'm going to open up a new one and uh, we're going to show you how to go ahead and input this onto your text.